Hey everyone, and welcome to the Yellow Rose Motel. This is a Silent Hill inspired indie horror game um, that actually costs money. It's on Ichio for two, three dollars, three dollars I want to say. And um, we're going to check it out today. I'd like to pick a big shout out to our Patreon supporter, Inagrigio. Thank you so much, Inagrigio, for the continued support. You super beautiful Nomkin, you. Thank you so much. And a big shout out to our Patreon producer, Alice, as well. You are also a super Nomkin. Her links are on screen right now. Make sure you give Alice a follow or a sub. She's amazing. Anyway, I love Silent Hill. Let's delve into this. I'm so tired. This place looks nice. Better find the manager quickly and hope it's not too costly. I should ask someone where the manager is. End. I guess that's the end. Oh my god, the fucking model. I mean, I know this is like, uh, meant to be like PS1 look, but holy shit. Like, every aspect of my body is like, what the fuck is this hideous shirt I'm wearing? Holy shit, it's awful. Alright, press action to interact. Hello, mister. Are you coming to the party tonight? No, I'm not bald child. What party? Oh, hang on, are we a girl? No, no, that's right. Looks like you're new here. Mr. Henry is throwing a grand party. Okay, Alice is the little girl, okay. Oh, I don't know. Hey, do you know where I'll find the manager here? Who, Mr. Donald? Oh, he's near the shed. Just go on walking. Perfect. You won't miss it. I wonder why he won't let anyone in. This place sounds like a great hotel. It's, uh... it's also fucking massive, by the way, like... Holy shit, this is a tall building, especially for like what looks to me like some sort of like Tuscan Italian villa. I know it, I don't know who's meant to be, but that's what, that's what that's the impression I get from it, you know what I mean? I guess I just get that feeling. Look at this, what the fuck you'd never stay here. You just see this boarded up shit and you'd be like, "Yeah, fuck that. I'm getting the fuck out of here." All right, let's find the hotel manager. Is that a bit of paper on the floor over there or is it? It definitely is. It's something. Breaking news, city officials recently discovered three bags of PD, a disassociative, a type of hallucinogen, which is used as a recreational drug by a lot of youngsters these days from a local newspaper vendor. Experts believe that they can even make people clinically insane if taken too much. Its origin is believed to be from somewhere in England from early 19th century. Interesting. One of the only few good things to come out of my home country. <laughs> I actually don't mind looking here that much, it's pretty good. This place is fucking huge, holy shit. Hey, are you the manager? I'd like a room if any are available, because it seems like they're all barricaded. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I've got a spare room for special guests. Thanks. I'll get it ready in no time till then. Could you please lend a hand? We're low on manpower. Why the f- uh, Excuse me? I'll happily give you a big discount. I'll happily fuck you. Sure, I guess. What do you want? A few people are having a party tonight. Could you please help them out? Everything is done. All that's left is the firewood. Could you collect it for us? This is so fucking surreal. You'll find it laying around here. Sure. All of us are busy in something, so... Sure. I guess we're agreeing to get the wood. And then maybe we'll get his wood, you know what I mean? Oh, it's all highlighted. There we go. Very nice. There's one. I like the sprites, the the weird like 2D sprites. Oh, this is this is through the wall, guys. I'm not sure we can make it. We actually have to go back. Oh my god. Should I talk to this person before we go? Because there is someone else here. Excuse. I don't know. I haven't seen him. Haven't seen him. They took him. They took him. Calm down. Who took what? They did. They took my husband. What are you talking about? I mean, she's not talking some alien spider language. She literally just described what was going on. They took my husband. Uh, excuse me, what did you say? They took my husband. Sorry, I don't understand what you just said. Alright, let's go and grab... Like, this kid is having such a great... Alice is having a great time. The time flies in strange... Tusk. Who the fuck are you? Excuse me, are you following me? Oh shit, look at his face. The stranger silently stares at you. I mean, he hasn't got any eyeballs, so, you know. Hey you, go away! Ka... K... 
Capital. What? Okay. Capital? Okay, let's just go on. Let's talk to this lovely... Everyone here is so nice. For a day, isn't it? Yeah, hey, do you know where the manager is? I already fucking spoke to the manager. Donald, no, I haven't seen him since last night. This guy's a cockney orphan, by the way. I bet he's in the shed of this. I mean, he was outside the shed, but... Hmm, who is playing the violin? Why'd you keep following me? His mouth slowly opens. You think he's about to speak. Oh my god, I can see through his eyes! But nothing but a small amount of saliva drips. I can literally see through that man's head. What the hell? I can, li I can literally, literally see through that man's head. Holy shit. Alright. Thanks, man. That was all the wood we needed. Well, that was a fast return. We'll get the rest, don't worry. Here are some candies for your work. Try them out. Oh, this is going to be the drug, right? Also, don't forget to visit the party tonight. You are one of the main guests. We are so we are so fucking dead. No thanks. I think I'll just sleep. I'm very tired. We'll see. Good dreams. <laughs> Enjoy the drugs. Drug use a drug. Muck drug. Why did the power go out? I guess we woke up in the middle of the night. What is this sound? What is happening? I should check it out. I think you should just stay in bed actually and never leave the room. Thank god I have this flashlight. I'm glad you have it too, otherwise I'm about to see fuck all. an interesting sound effect, isn't it? Okay, I actually quite like that, uh, that thing, you know. Although, Fire 3 to go back is not working. So I can't leave. There we go. Escape works just as well as Fire 3, so we got, we got out of there in the end. I don't like this background noise. It's creepy. I mean, it's very Silent Hill. But... Alright, let's go outside and have a look around, shall we? We are no kings. Oh my god. Wow, this place is great. Got all the jam on the clothes. Brilliant. I'm really glad we stayed here next to all these border -like rooms. But there's definitely dead bodies. What the? What happened here? This looks on fire. How? Where is everyone? I need to get out of here. Okay. Probably be enemies, right? I mean, we could just leave. Looks like the door is probably not going to let us out, though. Like, holy fucking shit. What is going on here? Why didn't I hear any of this happening? It's because you were fucked. None of this is... It's probably like none of this is happening anyway, because you're just probably just tripping fucking balls from the copious amount of drugs that you were given by whoever his name was, Donald. Donald Duck. Yeah, I don't like that sound. I don't like... I do not like that sound. Very, very, very cool sound, though. I don't know what it's from, but, um... I don't know if it's like their own sound or, like, a, from a site or whatever, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. Alright, I guess we'll head this way. Just trying to keep an eye out for random shit, really. Okay, so I need a key to get in here, I guess? Alright. No key. Let's go upstairs. Someone just farted. Alright. I like that as well, the Resident Evil door opening. I've been playing the Resident Evil games, the original ones on stream. You should totally check that out, guys. Link is in the description. Plug, 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 plug. I don't really see much in here, no. So let's keep going. Someone is farting. Someone should not have had the prunes. All right, another note. No fighting so far, which I'm kind of happy about. It's a void of the pain in my heart. Get out as my heart yearns. Go for the love is waiting for you. Okay. There's, there's three drawers. Yeah, these all look empty. Okay. Alright, let's go. Wow, that fire is... Look shit. I'm not gonna step in that in case I suddenly die or go near it. 
Okay. Wow, this room is fucking massive. What the fuck? I don't like this. I feel there's gonna be something in here. It's gonna beat the shit out of me, and I'm gonna die. All right. More notes. The violin is cruel. Great. Oh, this is also lock. Oh no, it's like a, it's missing like a cube or some shit. All right. Where did I come in? Like, it's very hard to tell where you've been. Press that. Okay, well, that's not working on that door. I guess that, that, that door is not allowed. Hmm. This is starting to feel a little bit janky. Uh, but hopefully, it'll still be playable. Shut up, crying child hybrid thing. Alright, I see nothing here of note, so let's just keep going. There was nothing in here, right? It was just like... random bollocks. I'm not even sure where I came in, to be honest with you. I must have come in through that door. I think down the far end... No, so there's, there's just the one room in here, really, ultimately. And, okay, so we need a... we need like a block for that, and we need a key for the door that's outside. Don't step in that or I'll die. Head back downstairs, got it. I do like, uh, the little lanterns. Holy shit. This is locked as well. Everything's fucking locked, Jesus Christ. Like, I don't know if this is gonna kill me if I walk towards it. Oh my fucking god, oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god, that scared the shit out of me. Play's gone now, so that's fine. That was actually pretty cool. I like that. Pretty good little jump scare. Oh, stop fucking crying, by the way. Jesus fucking Christ. Oh, I'm burning alive. Oh, pussy. I have no idea where to go, though, to find more shit. I mean, I probably missed a door or something, but... All these are boarded up, like, to fuck, like, like, completely fucked. Oh, okay, so the, the fire doesn't actually kill you, it's like an invisible wall, it seems. Yeah, definitely nothing going on, but that's a good idea. Alright, so I'll be back in a second, guys, once I find out where the fuck I need to go. Because I am a little bit stumped, a wee bit stumped. A teeny tiny bubba bit stumped right now, so I'll be back in a second. So I didn't go in any of the downstairs rooms here, so let's check these out. I just kind of I didn't even think about it, to be honest with you. Alright, what do we have here? Somebody to love as a treasure, I shall keep them. Death may be the final end. Destiny might be different. Reality might be different. Everything might be a lie. All might be a ruse. Mind may be in danger, but I can't help it. Okay. I don't like these doors really close to each other, because it's hard to tell which one you came in through. You know what I mean? Especially as the game doesn't have, like, a fucking... Is this like a champagne machine? I want champagne. I'm actually freaking out, but I don't like that noise. Pure. My love for my lord is pure as lord's will. In the shadows lurks the devil. No! I feel like the notes are just, like, random bollocks at the moment, to be honest with you. Alright, they're all empty. I should probably have checked all of them, like, not based on visuals, but, like, based on if the game says it's empty, if that makes... There we go. Alright, so there is a visual. we got a key. Okay. What the fuck are these? Just alcohol? I guess this is a bar? There's fucking alcohol everywhere. Get... <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought this was like a music puzzle, but I don't think it is. It's just... It's, what the fuck? What, what a stupid fucking note. Holy shit. Oh, we can use the piano, though. I don't like that sound. Is something in here with me? Better fucking not be. Dickhead. Alright, we got a key anyway. I 
cut down that music. It sounds like somebody's chasing me, but I don't think it is. I'm not even sure the game has proper enemies, you know what I mean? I'm yours forever. Here I have me heart. Ending it causes me pain. Love me, will you please? I feel like... I, I understand these notes are probably meant to be, like, substantial and meaningful, but they just look like a complete random, like, sea of bollocks at this point, like, with absolutely no purpose. I guess... We are tripping balls. We are tripping balls. So maybe that's maybe I'm missing the uh, the subtle nuance here. But um, so yeah, it looks like I actually can tell if there's something in the key in the drawer, which is which is good. But this is just a shitload of empty rooms again. Like this, I would feel like would be a, a pushing box puzzle type thing, but I don't think it is because there's nothing there's nothing else in here. You know what I mean? It's just like a random collection of shit. Anyway, let's uh, let's get out. doors down here. I think that's all the doors dealt with, probably. Alright, so we have a key. So presumably, well, I mean, there's two doors that it could possibly fit at the moment that we found, so let's go and check those out. Out the way, lantern. God, that shirt is so fucking hideous. There we go. Okay, so we're still... Gate unlocked. It's barricaded. Oh, I see. I was like, what the fuck is happening here? Alright, that's where we came in. Another note. Better see me insightful. There is a bluebird in my mind. The fuck wants to get fucked? Wait! Help! No, this is wrong! Master, master, no, he's out of control. No. What the fuck is that? What a lot of shit! Holy shit, that was great! I love that note. It was one of my favourite notes of all time. Like, I played a lot of video games, right, with a lot of notes. That is, like... I'm probably going to be memeing about that note for a while. Holy shit, I love it. Parong. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so we need like a fucking crowbar or something, but I've got nothing else. Unless that key unlocks multiple doors, I have no idea where to go. So, um, I'm going to... I definitely have missed something somewhere again. All right. We need to find something to open the barricade. I'm, I'm guessing the person who made this, by the way. I'm guessing English is not their first language, so I probably shouldn't be too mean. But as you know, I'm a terrible person, so... Yeah, I don't have the key anymore, so we have to find something else. I'll be back in a minute, guys, once that actually happens, probably. Alright, I just find something in this chest of drawers. I didn't actually see what it was. I guess I missed that it was interactable last night. Oh, it's a saw, so that's when we're removing the barricade. Got it. Alright, let's head back. It was really dark, so I couldn't actually see what the fuck it was, but, okay. That was in- for those of you- if anyone's using this video for a guide, I mean, that's probably a terrible idea. But it was in one of these- it was on the right-hand side downstairs room. Back from, like, where you came in originally. Alright, let's go. Time to cut down the barricade. Alright. Yes. <laughs> Great, holy shit. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, we found some- I thought that was another note, but... Oh, it's sheet music. Okay, so we know where that goes. Very- so far, like, no real puzzles, by the way. It's just like, you know, this is- this is what you do. Which is fine. It doesn't need to have puzzles, you know what I mean? Alright, let's go and put the sheet music. I'm trying to remember where that was. I want to say it's on the left-hand side here, in the bar. So let's go and check that out. God, I can't keep I, that note. I, I, some of the most unintentional. I think I, I'm guessing unintentionally hilarious stuff that I've seen in the world here, which I, I which I'm fine with. Like like I say, it's okay to be unintentionally hilarious, and if it is intentional, I have play. You know what I mean? Like I don't laugh at enough horror games. All right. Where the fuck am I going? Here it is. Here's the piano. All right. Dun dun dun. Playing piano. And I got something else. I got the tile for the upstairs room on the other side. Perfect. I haven't got any means of defending myself, so I'm guessing if anything shows up, I should just hoof it and hope for the best. I do. You do seem to have like a condition bar, by the way, at the bottom of the screen. I, I did notice that. At least I thought I thought I did, but it seems to have gone now. Did I imagine that? Am I, am I just going crazy? I don't fucking know. Did I take some? Is it called? Was it PD the drug? I can't remember. Regardless, 
The guy, let's just, so far I quite like this. It's got like a fucking weird charm to it, you know. Um, pretty sure it's the last door. Then we take the other door in here and use it on the sliding puzzle. Well, I don't even think it's a sliding puzzle. I think we're going to just put the block in and it'll be like, okay, here's a key. And then we'll go in the shed and Norman will be having his party in there. And it involves massive attempts of arson. Yes. Alright, we got something else. We got the keys. Okay, so that must open Norman's shed. Perfect. What the fuck is that noise? That door, it says you can interact with it, but you can't, and I don't like that. The tone has shifted, I feel. Let's get the fuck out of here. Something really bad's gonna happen. I bet I'm gonna fucking die. Alright, Norman. You better be fucking nice. Alright, we're going in. Alright. Well, this is definitely where the magic happens. Oh! Lovely. It's not candy. I didn't think it was. To be honest with you. Hi everyone, how's it going? You having fun in there? You beautiful dismembered corpses, you. I like the- I do like the sound here, actually. This is very, very, uh... I, I, I like that sort of, like, loud noises disorientate you thing sometimes. Like, it's it's kind of like... Oh, the door's fucking gone as well. It's kind of tropey, but at the same time, I like it. Like, Papa Combo does it too, like, with the blasting of, like, deafening music when bad things happen. Oh, why did the power go- Was there something in my room there? What is this? I've said this before. What is happening? I thought the game had restarted there for no reason. Thank fuck for that. Alright, so that was all meant to happen. Alright, looks like there's nothing in the drawers. Let's just head outside and see what, what's going on now. Maybe things have changed a bit since earlier. Oh yeah, see, everyone's just a fucking ghost now, I see. It's fine. What the? I mean, I've seen this before. They're ghosts now. What is happening? They didn't say well, they're ghosts now. They just I, I, I added that bit. In. Okay, so that's the exit. Should I talk to these, these these lovely people? I actually can't talk to them at all. I guess they were all ghosts all along. They were all ghosts that sold me the drugs. <laughs> I don't. I have no idea. I kind of hope the running man comes out the fire again because that was great. Come on, bring it. Bring it. Nah. Alright. Let's just use the exit, I think, and then that'll be it. Probably? I guess we'll find out. Then I will give my full my full review of this $3 game. Alright. There we go. Oh god. No, we don't. No, we don't. Honey! Why is this guy staring at us? Uh-huh. Hey, go away! I don't know, but let's just be quick and gather all the firewood. We'll get a big discount. Also, there's a party tonight. Wait, he's saying something. What is happening? Were we the person we saw before? Oh, is that saliva? Oh, I like it says Perison, by the way. So, I guess we became the person we saw that was following us around. I quite like that. This isn't bad. There we go, that's it. Yellow Rose Motel. Alright, thoughts. Um, uh, I don't know if this was the first attempt, but it was pretty good uh, for what it was. Uh, probably not worth $3, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Like, I feel that horror games need to have a little bit more to them for that price. I mean, that said, it is a better than a lot of the absolute bollocks that gets released on Steam. So I can't, like, I can't say, like, this was terrible. Like, I did enjoy aspects of it, and it made me laugh as well. So I, I... Uh, are tentatively, tentatively, as Crism isn't here to argue with me about the nomometer again, are tentatively give it a nom, but it's sliding towards an air for various things as well. But it's not bad. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. That was Yellow Rose Motel. Consider pledging to our Patreon if you want us to help keep making us blah, 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 blah. I just, what, what, just fucking subscribe to Patreon, please. Thanks. It really helps us out. <laughs> 
anyway, thank you for watching everyone, and uh, I'll see you soon for more spooky dooky things here on Crinks TV. Stay on, stay awesome, goodbye.